From One of One Production Studios, broadcasting from NYC, you are listening to Unexpected Success with your host, Joy. Hey guys, in the studio today we have Mike Powell, all the way hailing from DC. What up? What What's up? What up? up? What's up? So happy that we could do this. For sure. For I sure. like pounced on you. I'm sorry. That's all right. I don't. I don't mind. Okay. Cool. 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 So Mike Powell is um, in line with you know the theme of this uh, this show. He is uh, an entrepreneur. Yep. Um, and he uh, is a partner at Powell Con- Powell Consulting Group. Yep. Um, and uh, tell us more about the about the business. Yeah, so um, consulting company, we do mostly government contracting, but it's a family business. So my pops started it back in 86 after he retired from the Army. Um, at that time, there's a lot of opportunities for minorities to get into government contracting, a lot of programs that um, created really, really good opportunities. So he kind of jumped into that game at that time. Um, and That's so dope that you, you know, that yeah, he created that. He did. Right. He did. Um, and it's 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 really um, a, a testament to him that it's been able to thrive for so long. Right. Um, I mean, how many years is that? I mean. Yeah, we 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 going over thirty this crazy. year. Yeah. That's amazing. Yep, yep. So it's really really a blessing to have that opportunity, but. You know, at the same time, I'm working with my pops, so you know, <laughs> is that I, a challenge? I tell people every day that we don't kill each other is a good it's day. A good t- <laughs> yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can imagine. I mean, having a partner is hard. Yeah, um, having a partner that is a family member, yeah. especially your dad, right? And it's his business that he started, right? Right. Um, is he strong-willed? He, very much so. Right. He's a military dude, right? So, right. You know, he he sees the world a certain way and thinks that everybody's supposed to. Say, sir, yes, sir, and right. jump to it. And I'm like, nah, I wasn't even in ROTC. Like, I yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, he's your dad, <laughs> yeah. so clearly, you know, you right. understand some of the disciplines. But exactly. ultimately, you know, you you didn't actually study for that, right? Right. right. Um, and right. you're not shy, so I imagine that the, that the fights are epic. They can be sometimes. Okay, yeah, they can yeah, be yeah. sometimes. You know, we both. You know, I'm 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 pretty laid back most of the time, but you know, when it's something I believe in, like. Uh, you know, you I'm say not, it with conviction. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I don't hold back. I stand my ground, and he's the same way. Um, yeah, I would imagine. And it could be tough because it's your pops, right? So, like, you know, you got to be kind of respectful at yeah, the same time. Yeah, because we got to be... go to Thanksgiving dinner after we had this conversation, <laughs> right, 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 right. and everything got to be cool. Yeah, so it's 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 been really good, you know. Um, but it's awesome. Okay, so you know, I, I think this is the first time that I've actually spoken to somebody who. Um, I guess had the benefit of, you know, your dad mm-hmm. being your example, mm-hmm. right? So would you mm-hmm. say that he's your inspiration for everything, or, or who's who inspires you? Um, you know, life inspires me, right? So you know, certainly I think um, watching him and the sacrifices that he's made, um, I feel, um, you know, some kind of way to continue the legacy. But you know, I. You know, honestly, like, young kids inspire me. Like, you know, rappers inspire me. Speakers mm-hmm. inspire me. Like, traveling inspires me. Like, so, you know, I have to, like, that's why I like coming to New York because I like yeah. getting this energy, like, you know, sucking it up and then taking it back home and doing it with, um, you know, in my lane. So, yeah, you know, absolutely he does. Um, but, you know, we... You know, my dad's going to be 74 this year. God bless. So That's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah like yeah, his yeah. his his brand of inspiration is a little bit dated. Different. <laughs> a little bit a little bit dated. No 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 you know. All in love, yeah, but a little bit sure, dated, right? Sure, right. But listen, sure. I you know, I stand by that, you know, getting older and aging is a privilege, Absolutely. Right? And so um Absolutely. I, every time I meet somebody who's older, um, I'm kind of like, yo, God bless. Right. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? I know people who died right. at 16. Yeah. So like, Yeah. And that's what he wants from me and I don't get that to him, so that's why we fight so much. Because I'm like, right. yeah, Vada, vada yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I'm not impressed. <laughs> right, but deep down, you know, you get yeah, it. Yeah, right, absolutely. Right. But you can't give him too much. I can't give him too much. All right, so yeah. so walk us through this. Um, you know, I think that um, I like to always highlight natural abilities yeah. and how you were able to leverage that. So mm-hmm. you always, I always say you you're not shy, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, clearly, that's one of your natural abilities, sure. right? So how did you? I mean, so back up. Yeah. I know Mike from Hampton, Al. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <We're> woo, woo. <laughs> right. Um, and, uh, you know, 
it, I mean, clearly we're on on you know college campus. We're not yeah. focused on natural abilities, yep. and but you always stood out. Yeah. Um, and so and now you figured out a way to kind of build a career around yep. standing out. Yeah, so yeah. Can you gotta walk us through that. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think I've always been the person that was never scared to like take risks. Never scared to kind of like put myself out there and be the center of attention and not because I really wanted it, but, you know, just because like, it, you know, I didn't, it didn't really bother me. So, you know, now what I do is kind of still in that same vein where, you know, I'm talking in front of audiences of, you know, 50 people to 500 people and I'm trying to help them become more effective in whatever they're doing. So whether it's training, whether it's keynote speaking, whether it's coaching, whether it's consulting, um, it takes a lot for me to make sure that I'm prepared to get in front of an audience like that because, you know, it can be nervous sometimes. Well, yeah, I, I ironically, I'm doing a podcast, but I'm, I'm afraid of public speaking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the irony is there, but it's just us, right? Yeah. It doesn't feel public. It yeah. feels like more personal. Yeah, so a lot of people, public speaking is their biggest fear. Like right. Some people would rather die yeah, than speak I'm, in I public. I might be one of them. Yeah, yeah like, right. but you speak in public every day. Like, this is public speaking right, right now. Right, but it's it doesn't just feel a, like it's it. It's the same thing, though. Well, you know, I, I had people around me who said, maybe I should start here. It's the same thing. I can't wait to go. So, tomorrow, um, and we should probably get into the business and yeah. what you actually do. Yeah. Um, but tomorrow, I have the benefit of being able to attend one of um, Mike's uh, workshops yeah. Yeah. on goal setting yeah. and uh, just, you know, um, Looking forward. Yeah. So I'm. Um, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. So tell us more about your what your company what your company does. <clears throat> yeah. So we um, we do organizational development and training. So you know, I guess the niche, the key words is human capital. So we we're really in the business of helping organizations find ways to become effective. So it can look like a lot of different things. It could be me coming in doing the training for one day. It could be the me. Training staff? Yeah, training staff, training new managers, training leaders, um, you know, just, you know, whatever they need. Um, do you do personal coaching? I do personal coaching as well. Yep, yep. So, you know, it could be coaching one day. It could be keynote speaking one day. It could be team building one day. It really just depends. Um, so that's kind of what the business has been um, for the past 30 years, and it's, it's primarily in the government sector so federal contracting we got a gsa contract if you know people understand what that means it's right. you know very difficult to get a gsa contract it's huge and do business with the government and all the red tape and all the paperwork you know we do all of that stuff um but now what i've kind of done you know in terms of the pivot for the generations is try to make this thing that we've been doing digital so that we can get into different spaces, we can get into the private sector, we can do in the nonprofit sector, we can get into the sports and entertainment sector. Because at the end of the day, people still have the same needs. Like, right. you know, just because you work for the federal government doesn't mean that you're the only person that needs to learn how to be a leader. Like, you know, the Giants need leaders. Oh my gosh! You know, like, the in Mets my need my, yeah, in my, yeah, and within my company, right. we're, we're a small shop. We yeah. need leaders as well. Need we that. need training as well. So, right. no, absolutely. Right. So, so we we're in the business of helping people develop develop their skills so that they can help their organizations become more effective. So, you know, whatever the skills are, communications, leadership, diversity, team building, um, you know, we try to put people in a position and give them the tools that they can use to be successful. Okay. Um, so and what about people who are, you know, a little bit confused as to what how they may want to move forward? They may have like a you know, a desire to kind of change yeah. or pivot, you know, um, and, the, you know, they don't really know what their natural abilities are, what the transferable skills are. Do you um, help people kind of find, figure out what their what is? I do. Um, you know, what, what I've found, especially with our generation, is that, you know, we work to make sure we have the security right. to provide for our families and live the lifestyle that we want to lead, but it doesn't necessarily give us the joy, right? right? Ironically, right. <laughs> or the fulfillment that we need that makes us feel good. So a yeah. lot of us are kind of trying to find other avenues that we can um, leverage to give us the feelings that we need. So whether it's starting a nonprofit, um, starting a kids sports league, whether it's starting a podcast or you know becoming a speaker or you know substitute teaching or you know whatever it is. Um, 
you know, we trying to exploit those opportunities. And it's it's scary, right? So a lot of people are like, yo, like, I want to do this, but I'm right. scared. I, um, I'm working with this young lady now. She is a chemist, and she graduated from college, and she was working for her agency or her company, and she wanted some red bottoms. Like, she <laughs> always wanted red bottoms. Okay. So she was in Michigan somewhere, really um, kind of not very sophisticated town. So she was like, I'm going to go to Chicago. I'm going to have my Chicago experience. I'm okay. going to do the Magnificent Mile, and I'm going to go to Louboutin, and I'm going to get me some red bottoms. <laughs> this is great. This so, is great. <laughs> That's what she did. She went there, bought the shoes. I guess I've never, you know, worn no red bottoms before, but I guess when you try them on, like, it's carpeted floor, right? right? So she was walking them, walking around them, and it was comfortable, and she got home, and she walked around, and she was like, yo, these she can't are killing walk. my right. feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are killing my right. feet. <laughs> and she was so upset because she had put so much value into these red into bottoms. This, right. And then she got the experience but the shoes hurt her feet. So as a result of that experience, she decided that she wanted to create stylish shoes that were sustainable, that were um, green, and that were comfortable. So now she's starting a whole business around that. I so love it. I'm coaching her, helping her get started up, helping her launch her social media presence. That is just an amazing story. It's a right, great right, right. But, story. It, it, but it goes yeah. to show that a lot of times, you know, some random, you may think it's a random this random event, yeah. right? But then yeah. it, it literally changes the way that you view and you see like a gap in the marketplace and yep. say, wait a minute, I can, I can, I can do something. I can do something. I can right, do something. Right. Yeah. Now, is she making her souls red? <laughs> no, she's no, not. She's not. <laughs> she's not making her souls red. Um, but she's she's got a lot of traction. So, you know, to be her age, she's doing a lot of pitching, going to pitch competition. She's won some things. And oh, so, that's amazing. You know, I just check in with her. You know, we do coaching, make sure she's got everything in place because she's doing everything by herself. So right, right, right. operations, so like, yeah, designing the shoes, draft the business marketing, plan, everything funding by herself. decks, all that kind of stuff And that's as the well. scary part about, um, you know, transferring into this sort of entrepreneurial space mm-hmm. is that a lot of times you do it by yourself. Right. And so it's funding. It's it, like a lot of those things kind of... Those things, but sometimes people don't even see the vision. Right. Right. And so, you know, you out there with this vision and this dream, but people don't understand it and it right. doesn't make sense. And they're like, what right. you don't... Like, you got a great job. Absolutely. Like, oh, my you know, gosh. And a lot of times those people are your this. parents, yeah. right? So yeah. your family, the people right. who are closest to you are like, why would you, why would you do that? Yeah. I don't understand why you do yeah. what you're doing, yeah. right? And, and, and they love you and they don't want to see you struggle. Right. So... It comes across as don't do this because I don't want, but really, like they do it, they say those things because they love you. It's not well, right. like and negative. And it's a generational thing, right. too, right? So I think in our parents' time, you know, to be able to get a job and then to be able to get insurance, have health insurance, right. you know, be it's able to take thing. care of it, it's a big deal. A big so when deal. you say, I'm going to start my own business, the first question is, what about your benefits? Right. What, what, how are you going right. to survive? Right. You know right. what I mean? Like, right. which you, not, you won't, you may not get paid every two weeks. Like, right. how, how does that work? Right. Uh, right. And and again, it's from a loving place, like you yeah. said. Yeah. But it's you know it, it's it's fear based. Right. Right. And right. it's based on their fear from yeah. based on what happened during yeah. their generation. So yeah. you listen, but ultimately you can't let that be the deter- determining factor. Yeah. Like so you, you know that's why it's, it's um. You know, you have to pay attention to who you share your dreams with because oh, you can is, have... That's, that's a jewel. Yeah. Now you know you just dropped a jewel, yeah, right? <laughs> you, you, can't, you, right. you can't share your dreams with everybody because, you know, people may try to help you and they think they're helping you, but they can really do the opposite. And it's not because they intentionally yeah, don't want you malicious. to succeed, right. but they're just scared for you. Yeah, and they yeah, want yeah. the best for you, and especially like our parents who you know, came up in a time when resources were scarce and jobs were scarce and, you know, you had to grab this one thing and you work right. for a company for 30 years and you retire and you get your <laughs> right. gold watch and everything. Right, right, Everybody right. lives happily ever after. And it's like, yo, we can do that. But I done seen too many people that have lived that life and they pass away and two days later they got somebody that's replacing them. No, right. And it's... They it doesn't. Don't it's like beat. like my mom says. It's like footprints in the sand. Yeah, for sure. Right. They wash the water away. comes. Gone. It's like you see the footprint. Yep. The water comes. Gone. gone. Never existed. Yep. Right. Yep. So, yep. Uh, and then you also see 
um, I think, a level of dissatisfaction. Yeah. That even though you're living the dream, yeah. like you see, you don't really see happiness, yeah. right? Or you yeah. see exhaustion. You see someone wearing themselves out, giving a company yeah. everything um, for a check, yeah. but they, they're just not fulfilled. They're not, they're not happy. Right. Yeah. So uh, I think, so I'm, I'm more... You know, we gotta talk about me. But yeah. like, you know, I'm more um, scared of that feeling. Yeah. Of yeah. just feeling like I didn't do what I th- right. thought I could do than right. I am of just trying. Because I'd rather just try something and be like, you know, oh, yeah. that was a good time. Right. And laugh at myself as yeah. opposed to just not even trying. Right. And that's what our generation is. Um, right. You know, it's different than different generations. But, you know, so, we I mean, gotta be able to do that. So there's so many, I mean, so I'm, I would imagine it's a pretty um, crowded space, right? For sure. Um, yeah. Consulting. Mm-hmm. So how do you all set yourselves apart? Um, you know, I think what makes us different is that when we are with people, like we give them experiences that are unmatched. So you have a lot of people that are great writers and they're great thinkers, but when you sit down with them or you sit in front of them, like you don't enjoy the experience. Like, yeah, you smart, but I was bored, right? Yeah, I was bored. I can read your book or I can listen to it, but I'm bored, right? So what, what I think has set us apart is that we're smart, um, and we do our homework, but we also push you in an environment and an experience where you're like, man, I'm, I'm learning, I'm feeling good, I'm excited, but it didn't feel like it. Like, this right. was really good. Like, I enjoyed that. So um, as you're more engaging. I mean, that, absolutely. I, when, I were, yeah. when I was in corporate America, I, uh, I've had a few coaching sessions. Yeah. I've been in there like, this woman doesn't know who I am. Mm-hmm. She doesn't really know. She doesn't really understand me, right? Yeah. And all these exercises, while they, they're they good for, like, team building, yeah. and I got, you know, cool with some of my coworkers. Right. But ultimately, I was like... Yeah, I'm ready we to done go. Yet? Yeah, I'm ready <laughs> you know to go. I mean? I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's always nice to be um, engaged yeah. and also, um, you know, self, self, you know, fulfilling. Yep, yep, yep. So we 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 try to create an experience where you increase your self awareness, you learn about yourself, you develop relationships, and you get some tools. So you're not just sitting down and walking away after 30 minutes and feeling like, that was great, but like I'm never going to use this again. Like We want to create an environment where you get something and it really causes you to think about, how can I use myself to impact this environment to get the things that I need, but also help my organization? Um, and what I'm finding now is that more people are willing to invest in themselves. So yeah, my company is not going to pay for this training. Um, but, yeah. but I'm willing to pay for it. Right, right, right. So that's kind of how this goal setting thing kind of took hold because I had so many of my friends, really, who were like, yo, Mike, I see you doing this thing. Like, can you help me? Can you help me? And I'm like, yo, like, this is working. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm helping people. No, like, they right. buying houses. No, and, because ultimately, yeah. you think about it, if you if you only focused on government contracts, we yeah. would never know what you, you did. You would never know. I would never know what you, you did. Never know. Right, but Absolutely. because you kind of, like you said, you've become more digital, yep. you've... Um, you know, showcasing some of the things, yeah. the workshops and things. I'm like, oh wow, this is dope. Yeah. So when yeah. you're like you're coming in town, I'm like, I'm I'm in. Yeah. I want to only I want to be part of this experience. Yeah. I've seen this experience online. Yeah. I, I wish so, I was doing this like ten years ago. You would have came out. <laughs> and I had this conversation. But a long hey, time I'm ago. here. We here now. Right? We here now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So wait a minute. Okay. All right. So you know. Ultimately, you know, I don't know who my listeners mm-hmm. are, but um, I always, you know, when I have an opportunity, try to like get provide some kind yeah. of advice in terms of, if, you know, someone who's listening yeah. you know, has a great idea, but has a nine to five and yeah. they're scared to leave the nine to five, yeah. nine to five yeah. to yeah. do what the great idea is. Yeah. What kind of advice would you impart? The biggest thing is to get traction to to whatever it is that you want to do, start doing it. Like people spend a lot of time doing business plans and doing marketing plans and thinking about their image and how they want to present themselves. And that stuff is important and it's right. cool. But do the thing that you say you want to do. Like if you want to help kids, like go and help some kids. You don't have to spend, you know, 
two years, like submitting articles of incorporation, right. getting your nonprofit <laughs> tax right. ID, like go help some kids. Right, like if right, that's right. what you want to do, go help some kids. Like if you want it's to. It's kind of like stalling tactics, yeah. right? Like, I, I remember when I was practicing law yeah. and people would say, um, you know, I, I think I want a trademark. And I'm like, well, trademarking is pretty expensive. Yeah. So I'm like, so what's your idea? I mean, listen, I'll take your money. Right, for sure. I'll trademark your, yeah. your idea. But then well, you what? can't really trademark an idea, but I'll trademark whatever it is that yeah. you have that you want to trademark. Um, but what I would suggest is that you start it. You make sure that it's a viable idea yep. that it's actually, you can make some money for right. it. Because trademarking is expensive. It is. You might as well have yep. the business pay for it as opposed to you coming right. out of pocket. And quite honestly, it's just stalling. It is. But we all do it. Like, and I've, I've definitely, I can I can attest that I have had one million ideas and I've been like, oh, I'm going to draft a great plan. I have like a, a slew of business uh, plans. Of <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> that absolutely. I'm just like, then, I, then I'll draft it and say, you know what, let me just, maybe not. You know right. what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> So, so that it's it's important to get traction. Like whatever the mm-hmm. thing is that you want to do, like just implement it. Whether it is getting content out to the world, whether it is creating a product, whether it is helping people, like get traction on it because that's the only way you're going to learn. Like you don't want to spend two years creating the infrastructure and then right. you say, okay, now what? Like I would rather you. Get traction, do the stuff, get experience, refine your process, refine your products, refine your services. And then you say, okay, I understand what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to put this infrastructure around it to support right, to it support and it. I can grow. Right. But people kind of do it backwards. All the time. They focus on the infrastructure and they never. So so you got a million people that got these businesses, that got tax ID numbers, but they're not doing nothing. No, and they have to pay taxes they on gotta all pay, of that. Right. Like every year they're paying Absol- taxes And on. not doing nothing. So no, right. yeah, for right. no reason. So, so that's great. So that, yeah. that's great advice. Yep. I think just, just doing it in any aspect of it, right? So um, just start. Mm-hmm. Right. Get going. Right. Get going. So um, I don't want to go too long. I know people yeah. don't want to spend too much time listening to us talk, although we could probably keep going. Yeah. Um, got but time I mean, any, to make any, up for. Any, <laughs> 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 any parting words that you'd like to, you know, bless us with? Um, I think at the end of the day, it's really about, you know, I, you know, you're coming tomorrow for a goal setting session. So, you know, people have visions, they have dreams, they have goals. Um, but the key is the action. So, you know, I, I encourage people to have the vision, have the goals, but write it down and take action. Like, even if it's just, you know, what am I going to do for the next 30 days that's going to get me closer? Like, take some right. kind of action because you could be spinning your wheels and you never have progress. So I believe in writing down my goals. I believe in sharing them with people. That's going to hold me accountable. And then taking baby steps. I mean, even if, you know, you don't get it done the way it looks in your mind, as long as you are making some sort of tangible progress, it's good. And, you know, it it may take a while, but that gives you something to work towards, especially if you're working for somebody else full time. Like baby steps, you know, they they say a, a ocean is made out of a, a whole lot of raindrops, right? Love so, that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, That's awesome. So, you know, you got to you gotta get the raindrops in, but if you don't, if you're scared to do that, then you're never going to get that ocean. You'll be stuck. Yeah, you'll be stuck. Right. Yeah. All right. And so where can we find you? Um, where can we find you online? Yeah, social media, everything is MP Consults, M-P-C-O-N-S-U-L-T-S. So my blog, my website, um, all of my social media. And then our company is PCG Consults, um, and that's the Powell Consulting Group. Um, so, you All know, right, great. So yeah. we're, we're going to feature all of this on um, our social media. And, great. Uh, yeah, so um, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. I hope to have you back. For sure. And keep winning. I look forward to uh, seeing you tomorrow, and we uh, take over the world together. Let's do it. This podcast was brought to you by 23DB Productions, ID Productions, and One of One Productions. For more information, go to Facebook and Instagram, Unexpected Success with Joy.